Hi. In this video, I have a custom post type with custom fields, and I want to create a single page template and a listing template for it. The house catalog page is empty for now. I want to create a custom post type for houses and to add extra custom fields that describe the real estate item. I'll use the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin included in Impreza for this. I'll go to the plugin settings and create a new post type for houses. I can see this new post type in the WordPress side panel. Next, I'll create a new group of custom fields and assign it to the post type, House. The first custom field I need is the number field to specify the living area. In its presentation setting, I'll also specify the unit of measurement, square meters. Next, I'll need the radio button field to specify the number of stories. I'll use predefined value options of 1, 2, and 3. Next, I'll use the gallery type field to show the house interior via an image gallery. The last field I need is a number field for the house price. In its presentation settings, I'll specify the currency. I'll save the changes. Next, I'll start creating new posts for houses. I'll specify the address in the post title. I'll add key features and general info about the property in the text description. Next, I'll fill in the custom fields I created earlier. Lastly, I'll specify the featured image and publish the post. I'll use a similar approach and add more posts for houses. Next, I'll start editing the houses catalog page with Live Builder. I'll add a grid listing element to show the list of houses. In its settings, I'll specify to show the house post type. In its Appearance tab, I'll specify the number of columns and the spacing and save the changes after. For now, the list has the default grid layout. I'll need to create a custom one to add the custom fields. I'll go to Impreza, Grid Layouts. I'll create a new layout and specify its name. Next, I can start adding the needed elements. I'll add the post image element to show the house preview. I want all images to look similar, so I'll specify the aspect ratio. I'll add the following elements inside the vertical wrapper to simplify assigning inner and outer spacing. I'll specify relevant paddings in its design spacing tab. Next, I'll add a post custom field element for the price. I'll specify the currency in its appearance tab. After this, I'll add a post title element for the item's title. Next, I'll add a horizontal wrapper element to show couple more custom fields next to each other. I'll add a post custom field element for the number of stories. In its appearance settings, I'll specify the relevant icon. Next, I'll duplicate this element and add similar information for the living area custom field. I want the list item to look like a card, so I'll add relevant values to the shadow and shadow on hover settings. I'll save the changes and reload the preview to refresh the list of available grid layouts to check my new layout's appearance. I need to adjust the sizes and colors for the custom fields I added so I'll return to the Grid Layout Editor. For the Price field, I'll make the font size a bit larger and specify the font weight bold for it. I'll switch the Post Title Elements HTML tag to regular text and use its design settings to assign a suitable color. I want to use a less emphasized color for the custom fields at the bottom. So I'll use the wrapper's design settings to assign a faded text color variable. I'll save the changes and check the result. This layout is the one I wanted to implement, so the listing template is ready.
Now I can proceed to the post template editing and start by opening any list item. The default template is only showing the text description of the item. I'll need to create a custom template to improve its design and add custom fields. I'll go to Impreza, Page Templates, and create a new template for the houses. I'll edit it with the Live Builder. I will also go to Theme Option, Pages Layout and assign this new template to the house posts. This way, I'll see changes I apply to the template right away by simply refreshing the post. First, I'll add a row element and divide it into two columns. One for general information and the other for the call to action. Next, I'll add a title with the post title element. Next, I'll add a post custom field element for the price. In its appearance settings, I'll specify the currency. I'll also specify the font size and color in its design settings tab. I'll add some spacing below. Next, I'll add the post custom field element for the number of stories. I'll specify the field's name and icon in its appearance settings. I'll duplicate this element and add similar data for the living area custom field. I'll add some more spacing below. Next, I'll add a carousel element to show the image gallery field. In its appearance settings, I'll specify the number of columns and spacing and pick the relevant grid layout. I also set it up to open an image in a pop-up on click. In the carousel settings, I'll turn on the navigation arrows and specify their position and offset. And I will also activate the infinite loop. I'll save the changes and check how it looks on a post page. I see custom fields appear correctly, according to the specified settings. I'll return to the template editing. I'll add some more spacing below. Next, I'll add a post content full content element to show the text description of the post. Now I want to add a call to action to the right column. I'll start by adding a vertical wrapper element. In its Design Settings tab, I'll specify the relevant padding. Next, I'll add a shadow effect via the box shadow settings. Next, I'll add a text element with the title. I'll add a button to contact the agent after. Lastly, I'll add a text line below with another text element. I want this entire content block to be visible and scroll down with the page scroll. So I'll turn on the relevant setting inside the column. Next, I want to add the other posts at the bottom of the page. I'll add a new row element and a relevant title. Next, I'll add a grid listing element. I'll set it up to show houses, specify the number of items, number of columns, spacing between the elements, and the grid layout I created earlier. I'll save the changes and check the final result. I can see my custom template applied correctly, showing all the necessary information according to the specified settings. Thanks for watching. In this video, I created a template for custom post types that include custom fields and a template for the list of these posts. In the following video, I'll show how to optimize the site loading speed.